You're listening to the Saturday Night Gaming Podcast, Starfall, run by one of our GMs, Tony Stevens. Hope you enjoy. And welcome back to another action-packed episode brought to you by Saturday Night Gaming. Uh, my name is Tony, and I'm bringing you Heavenscape Phase 2. This is Season 3, Starfall. I'm going to slowly allow my cast and crew to introduce themselves and their characters and a little bit about what's going on with them right now. But before I do, I want to remind you, you find that little click button, it says like, and then share, and then subscribe. Do all three of those. And then call Grandma. Say, Grandma, I'm looking forward to talking to you. It's been too long. And oh, hey, by the way, check out this podcast. I loved it. I think you're going to love it. And then tell all your other grandchildren about it. But enough about that. Let's go ahead and let the cast introduce themselves. We'll go ahead and start at my right. Oh, yep, that's, that's you, me. sir, with the big beard. Go ahead. I thought I had like another minute or so. You don't. It's immediate. Okay, uh, my name is John. And Are you sure? It is today for sure. Okay, cool. Right uh, right let there. me look at my little sheet. Today I am playing a guy named Jen Callus. He is doomed to explore and he bears the halo of fire and he's a genie. These are all true facts. Yeah. And um, he's a complicated man. He feels things. He feels them deep down. He feels them deeply, and he puts on a mask. <laughs> yeah, it's, but it's the feelings. Hide, They're there. Yeah. It's all bravado on top yeah. of a burning ring of fire. Yeah, he, yeah. he has his, his emotional, uh, hot um, core like uh, is contained within it's the mask temper. to protect others. Because you care. Because he cares, yeah. He just got deep. Yeah. It only took us into this campaign. I know they got deep. I heard his emotions. It sounded like a ding. Oh yeah, yeah. He ding, keeps that in his emotions. pocket usually, uh, and it's usually set to airplane mode. Oh, okay. How about you, without the beard? Oh, I'm Jessica. I'm playing Amara. Um, I don't remember what we were doing last time. That means no one will know. We were in Mordenay's. That's true. Last time. I wasn't even here, was I? Uh, oh, I was here. You were here. Yeah. Ronnie was here. We were here in physical form. <laughs> we stepped through the portal. Well, that maybe was two things ago. Oh, well, no, that was only one thing ago. Well, it was two and one thing ago. What did we do? You stepped through a portal at the end of one campaign. Stepped through the portal at the beginning of the other campaign. Yeah, yeah. But then what happened? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The. The clans. We pissed off the clan. Guy oh, I pissed the off bar. the clan guy. Yeah. Yeah, because we thought the one clan was the right clan to be rooting for, and then we were wrong. It was the other clan that we should have been rooting for. I was pissed at that guy because he was offending my friend's clan, but also didn't want to die, so but I kind of went along with turns it. Turns out was the leader of the one yeah. clan that we were. Talking and so about. now I don't like that guy. I don't think he likes us. Either. He's he's not very genuine. <laughs> Perhaps we should specify that this is a clan, not the clan. All, basically, all these people love Aiden, so we're glad that you're going to be back. What about you, Redbeard? Okay, um, I'm Brady. I play Yit Yap. I'm a little 16-inch man. That is important information. It is true. Okay. That's so how tall he is. I messed up big time. <laughs> I will admit it. I messed up big. Oh, man. And I say some stuff I shouldn't have. <laughs> um, but you know what? As one does. This is a breakthrough moment. But I'm, I'm gonna, gonna take this recording and I'm gonna send it to your mother. He's like, listen. I'll be like, this is for all the times he didn't say this to you, Mrs. Belding. She knows I'm sorry sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but I am finna clutch up. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Mm-hmm. Well, well, at least you're not standing means. there with three different guards pointing long, sturdy sticks with pointy ends on them at you. That is actually Jen, who is being guarded by Spearpoint. 
See, I have that oh, going for yeah. me. Yeah, they don't like you. Because he kind of <laughs> threatened to kill a lot of people. Yeah, because he's being yeah. a menace. I'll and mess him don't up. Don't be a menace. I'll mess and more him up. than eighth while <laughs> drinking the mead. Don't come near me. <laughs> and more importantly, the man with the most beautiful beard. Hey, y'all. This is Noel Jostein uh, being played tonight by the incredibly handsome, medium bearded Ryan Ladner. It is very trimmed, though. It is looking good. Thank you. It's I appreciate very trimmed. It. I appreciate <clears throat> the compliments. Uh, I am returning from. Uh, my short journey to the Maridros Massage Parlor. <laughs> where I got a very special hot dog water hydro massage. <laughs> it's real deep tissue. You have to special request those. They don't just do them for anybody. <laughs> uh, I'm feeling refreshed and almost like I've leveled up somehow. <laughs> and I'm ready to face the new challenge. You know what? I think that that's a good place to start because, I mean, they've already talked to a clan and another clan, two representatives from two different clans. They well, decided to pick a we clan. We thought they were all the same clan. Yeah. We didn't know. Well, they, they all did, looked the same. They decided to pick one and go against the other one. Didn't know that they were right in the middle of forming a truce with each other. It was hilarious. <laughs> uh, Burning Man here has, he's at basically at gunpoint, but they don't have guns yet, so it's spear point. Um, they have yet to remember that he's there because he's shorter, but he'll let them know by calling out to him. But I would say, and if you refer to the chat... Uh, for you mm -hmm. listeners at home, I do apologize, but there is a map that you cannot see, and unfortunately, I do not have all of the time to be able to describe its subtle nuances to you, but our players can see them. So if you refer to the chat, the <clears throat> map should be there, and possibly even pinned. So you could check out your pinned messages, and I'm lying. I didn't pin it. I should you go did. pin it. I did? Yep. Oh, sweet. Well, How do you just see lying to me messages? Then. I see a hot dog. Yeah, it's lying to me too. I, don't see I did pin it, and it's telling me I didn't. But okay, Is it the, whatever. The one labeled Mordenade? That's correct, sir. So you see if you look there, there's the Morning Mountains. Oh, that's right? Now, those morning Sorry. mountains to the Sorry. west of those large mountains is pain. Westport. That's where you'd be coming up through. So up through Westport, past Farrell Ridge, towards what's labeled as Cormac Valley. Oh, how do you get the uh, That's where everybody is. They're in Galen Flats in Cormac Valley. Oh, you and have to, do, you have to press the multiple buttons. Realistically, do you wouldn't really know. But by taking the path that you're on... Uh, from Westport up through Farrell Ridge, you could reasonably either go there or to Trigal. Um, I'm going to say it's up to you, really. So Whether I go to Trigal or Cormac. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, I can, out of player knowledge, I can tell you they're all at Galen Flats um, in Westport. I want to go to the I could, I could go have my own uh, side adventure. You could be just side questing the whole, the whole time. And they're uh, wondering where what you is are. Pag you know? Pagomios. That is. Let's Pagominos? Yeah, let's go there. Oh, wait, boy. Hold on. No, wait. Stop. We just You're not even here. He's talking to him. And also, what are we talking <laughs> We just I need to go, go find to... the Master Sword and. Galen, I'll go to Galen Flats. Okay, so We're that's fair. We're here eventually, but we got to um, Now, reasonably, we you probably sword, would have run don't. across a few people One along the way. Some of them uh, sailing types, and some of them soldiers, some of them tradesmen. Um, you did probably pick up some information along the way that may be consequential later. And okay. when it becomes consequential, I'll let you know what information you have already had that you didn't know you had. Awesome. Because, you know, you're a talker, so I'm sure you probably sold a book or two and probably tried to talk to some people. So. Praise Aiden. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <is> this, <laughs> that's our new that's thing. it. Praise Aiden. Praise Aiden. 
Um, all right then. So, it, but as you're getting to Galen Flats, you, you know, it's it's kind of like creeping up on uh, the next morning. Um, for them, it's the next morning. Sunrise is occurring. Um, but for you, it's the end of a long, arduous trek. And as you're coming up to Galen Flats, you notice that there does, you can tell in the distance that there is a man on a fire, which is to you a rather normal sight. You know him, you've been looking for him, but you do notice that he is surrounded by men with armor, well, like armor pieces, some leather, and spears, large spears. They're just completely encircling him, pointing their spears at him. Well, I can't leave them alone for more than a day. So true. It's I been, feel like that in real life. It's been weeks. I suppose I'll. Uh, I have nothing but bone. I've withered away without you. Withered away. I a week without believe you. Believe I should go investigate. See you need to siphon on? more of your energy. Have you been siphoning my energy? Oh, can you hear my thoughts? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Can you play energy vampires in this game? Not at this moment. I think no. that's what Yip Yip is. <laughs> what? Where am I? Inadvertently, an energy vampire. What? Because the more, the more you talk, are you talking about the I'm mentally more... draining? Yeah, <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> 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 We haven't even started playing. Like, I I'm not even here. I haven't said a word He's already. Like, I got the biggest dick possible this early in the night. <laughs> <laughs> and boom, he had it. Oh, I God. thought the massage changed you. <laughs> I thought it was going to help you loosen up, bro. Exactly. <laughs> That's what it is. He's still uptight. It gave me further clarity. Oh, yeah. I bet. All right, so you're trying to roll to like perceive the area, or are you trying to interact with these soldiers? Um, I'll talk to the soldiers. All right, so fair enough. You can go ahead and open up to them since you're walking up. They probably wouldn't recognize you as a threat. You generally don't walk around with like. Sure. Well, you do have a huge scythe. But they would know who I am. But priestly robes and... I also have a huge scythe. Can I whip out my scythe? (laughs) You don't have the scythe anymore. You gave it back to him. Did I give it back? You have adamantine spurs. Oh, okay. (laughs) Should I whip him out? I mean, he's on his turn right now. um, I I don't feel threatened, though. Do what? I don't feel threatened. Well, then don't act like you feel threatened. Yeah. Well, maybe yeah, pump out your chest. Be confident. Maybe Noel's out your presence yeah. will. You'll see me, and you'll be like, "Okay." Yeah, I'll run over too. He's, he'll I'll get me out of this. I'll run over there. Well, I'm coming to you. He's We're going to come together. I'm going to talk to the kids. Yeah. <laughs> come together right now. <laughs> Underrated. Okay. All right. Go ahead, sir. You can. Uh, you're probably just walking up. You priestly robes. Eight marks of Aiden. Are you covering in marks? They would think with my well, arm. he's got arms that are tattooed in adamantine tattoos of Aiden. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I'll get some tattoos. You can't. You have cat- bones. You don't no, use, you yeah. went with the, the, I the can get, bone etchings. I can get bone etchings. <laughs> you could, but you went for spurs. But I can like have someone do that later. Later? Yeah. yeah find some more adamantine. Yeah. Oh, and then I can pour metal into the grooves that are cut. Right. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody can say it's not. No, and I'm it's on fire. Cool. And I'm on you he's lied to me. You lying. lied to me. He's just saying it because it's a challenge. But you said no one could say it. Well, and he, he said it. He can't. Huh? I don't know. You lied to me. I did lie to you. You believe it? <laughs> can't trust him. All right. So, what? How would you approach these gentlemen? With uh, I will just walk right up. No, Justine. I, I would think that they would recognize me. The, actually, say, many of the clans said that they did know of you and your Let exploits. me introduce you to my new friends. Yeah, they were not a fan of you. 
They were not a fan. They just said that he decided to go on his own way, not mm-hmm. as a warrior, but as a no, preacher. No, Joel like Steen. Disappointed mom. They, uh, <laughs> I, and believe me, I've heard it before. They I were know. a disappointed mom. His mom is so disappointed. <laughs> I've heard it before. All right. Um, Hello there, gentlemen. Why, pray tell, are you holding my good friend captive here? They're just showing well, me their spears. They're really proud of them. Likely. The reason why he's being held at spear point is because he has threatened two different war chieftains. He I came have in no the town. recollection of... This is an outlier. The rest of them <laughs> like me just fine. <laughs> he came into town. He walked directly into war chieftain Manus's tent and threatened him there in his own bedroom. And then... He talked trash about Clan Lewis and tried to start a war between Clan Harris and Clan Lewis with the war chieftain from Clan Lewis. That was a test, and I'm so glad you passed. <laughs> you know, I You are now worthy of my friendship. <laughs> As <laughs> Hey, hold on, because this is this is a perfect opportunity for me to practice my new ability, Grand Deception. Ooh. Ooh. This one's important. Which is... Hold on, let me look it up. You convince an intelligent creature that can understand you and isn't hostile of something that is wildly and obviously untrue. Okay. It's so, not obviously untrue. It's, it's an interpretation. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's obvious. I think I covered our bases pretty well. Yeah, so I will, I'll just say, well, from my understanding, he was on a, on a quest bestowed upon him by Aiden himself. Aiden! Aiden. Wait, you're saying that he's Aiden himself? Aiden! <laughs> I am the oh host of Aiden! another game where he's pretending to be a god. No! I hold the very essence of Aiden within me. We all do. But you can see it in me. Can't you see that he's on fire? If we were to rip your body away from Aiden, we would see the Aiden within you as you see it within me. I don't even know what he's saying. He's speaking another language, preacher man. I'll just translate. All right. So the what fire are you of Aiden burns. Of? Like, here's the, here's the grand deception. What's the grand deception that you want to convince them of with him <laughs> regarding him? Or not regarding him. You could completely leave him hanging and just be like, look over there. Uh, no, I'm... Uh, believe me, friends, he was acting on Aiden's behalf. A quest that was bestowed on him by the great fire god. All right, so give me... No uh, matter what I do, is Aiden's wheel. <laughs> Otherwise, I couldn't do it. They are a... Aiden has willed it all. <laughs> he was sent to test the will of you men and Obviously. this truth that you were forming. In retrospect, sure it's true. Prank. It was a prank. All actions performed are to the glory of Aiden. Aiden. Um, so they would be, make them a level four. So that would put it at Can I 12. assist? Can I, can I assist? <laughs> <laughs> um, so starting at 12 and whatever you want to do with it at that point benchmark it down uh, okay I've got of your, so this let's see what do you automatically because automatically I think with an I've interval, got three effort and three edge so you okay so just with with the edge alone that's automatically one drop down so from okay. 12 uh, but I'll have to because this will cost me three Oh, so do you want to use it to make it free? So yeah. Like, free move. I'll use here's that your to move. make it free. All right. So it is a 12 difficulty. Now, if you want to drop it down further, do you, are, are you skilled in anything that's going to assist Persuasion, you? yeah. So that's skilled, right? So skilled. That's two tiers down. So from 12 to 9 to 6. Do you want to just leave it at a 6 and no spending money or, or points? Or do you want to spend some points? We'll leave it at 6. I can give them points. Fair enough. All right. Go for it. See if they believe that he's actually 
I will pray to Aiden, and if this doesn't work, it means Aiden's not ready. <laughs> well, I have no intellect, or I have no uh, XP, so. Whatever happens, happens. Whatever happens, happens. Oh. Yeah, you can reroll it. Oh, you can keep going. Five. It is Aiden's will that <laughs> I am to be <laughs> destroyed. Really anti <laughs> One point. Do I have to roll for this, or? Now that I think about it. Let me read. It seems like it something an action, yes. that I should just be able to do. It is an action. So you do have to roll against it. Because mm. basically what you're doing is you're controlling these people and their beliefs. Um, but yeah, if it's ever an action, then it's going to be a roll move. Gotcha. Um, so yeah, they, they believe that you care about him. Look. Lad, understand that we all have retarded friends. Did you call me lad? Uh, indeed. I also, did. we don't use the R word around here. Oh, friend. is that is that is that bad? It's very it's uh, terrible. Well, that's we all have. You're going wait, straight to we whatever all have the opposite of Aiden's heaven is. To Athna's heaven. Athna? Yeah, his wife. Oh, well, yeah, we've been there, and I, I tell you what, it is hell. <laughs> Listen, we all have special friends. How about that? Uh, I'm special. That's You're what I've been saying special, this whole buddy. time. But if you expect me to believe that Aiden has chosen this wackadoo to do anything in his aid, well, I just can't believe it. And since the war chieftains have dictated it, I really don't want to lose my head for not doing my job, so you can take him with you. But anywhere he goes, we go. Spear point. That's not bad. We can do. They can just come with us. Yeah, we now have. Grown we our can army. come together right now <laughs> in front of Aiden. Hey, let me introduce you guys to my entourage. Oh, hello, ladies. <laughs> Hi! Have you bought this book yet? Oh my god, stop. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oi! Have you bought this book yet? Oh my god, stop. Good job, girls. <laughs> Y'all sell them books. We need to get Matt in here to do his voices. No. <laughs> <laughs> his southern myths. <laughs> no, they're fantastic. Hey oh, there. Hey there, gentlemen. Uh, like I can't. I can't even. Voice. We can't need thing. more female voice. voices. Uh, yeah, he's, he's got this his voice. Oh, I'll do it. I'll do it. Hello, well, gentlemen. Y'all might be able to help. I am a female. This is what they sound. This is what you guys sound like. <laughs> we have been on some dangerous quests lately. We have been on some dangerous quests. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's more like. Thank you, thank you, ladies. Like the, I can handle the, the talking. Y'all just go sell True some blood. books. Like the real southern. We have been on some dangerous quests. Yes. Yeah, you have to imagine yes, that you're a Canadian-born actress trying to sound like your rogue from the X Men. Yes. What? Yeah, that's his. Well, hey, y'all. <laughs> like you're trying. We've to been on yes. some dangerous quests. Yes. <laughs> Like but it. we've sold a book or two. I like it. And, but we've got more. For just nineteen ninety five. it could too be yours in your quest for pe pelestential faith or something. I don't know. <laughs> He's the college-educated preacher. What if you did an English accent? Look at... Oh, you the... sound so much like Pat Stewart right now. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Oh, I, have a, to his, I have a huge oh, entourage. Is that what he sounds they all like? Come from Hello, different like walks of life. I am an English person. <laughs> yeah, that's now, what he sounds like. He sounds like himself. He does sound like himself. That's, that's not what true. he sounds like. He, he, sounds, he like sounds like a straight like Shakespearean. He sounds Dude, like... His, um, you've got to listen to his memoirs. Yeah, I, would love so to, I would love to hear him. So I want to hear about the time he stormed off the set of SMG. Yeah. Uh, like when he was like, we're not here to have fun. And they all started laughing. Because, <laughs> I've had that experience where I get mad at someone and it's so out of character that they just start laughing. Well, sometimes you do. All right. So if you want to keep track of them, your friends here. Hello. Are Conlon. I'm Patrick Stewart. Conlon. 
I'll write their name. This is not what he sounds like. Yeah, Conlon. That's not what Patrick sounds like. Ally, A L A I. What a dumb name. I'm trying to do like and a Mrs. Liam. Doubtfire, maybe? <laughs> Come on, you can't. What Hello. kind of mama say, you know what? I'm going to name him Ally. And with. Maybe it means something in their culture. Well, it, it don't sound like it. As, as it is a true name of cultural reference, I would imagine that it does mean stuff. Well, like. I mean, if we're being broadcast in like Scotland right now, I oh just my bad, my, my fault, my fault. I, I got distracted. <laughs> I got distracted thinking I knew something. Yeah, my fault. All right, my, my, so my. yeah, you have Ally Conlon and uh, Liam hey. in your entourage, but technically they're only here to watch him. If you want them to help you with anything, you're going to have to convince them at that point. Okay, Jen, I believe these gentlemen are just gonna. Come with us, and they're so proud of their spears. They're probably going to be showing them off the whole they time. They love their spears. They That's love their spears now. so much. Do you like this voice? Does this make you less frightened of me? I like the other voice better. <laughs> I like it too. It's so much better. <laughs> Even if it frightens the poor spear boys. Spear. <laughs> Spear boys with their sturdy I don't, sticks. I don't think it's your voice that's With driving. their sturdy sticks. I think it's the possibility oh, yeah, of intending war be- impending war between the clans. Well, that has nothing to do with me. Yeah, we didn't do that, did we? We are good people. That's what I'm saying. All right. So, now, if I remember correctly, the impetuous one was actually told by Ardruva Krieg that A, he was going to purchase your body so that when you die, he's allowed to, yes. per- to perform an autopsy. I, I do remember that. Yeah, I, yeah. Remember that. I made him write it down so he couldn't forget I remember. It. Now, after that, he told you about other people, like you, but less ugly, that were fae. And oh, yeah. that they were not treated fairly. Here, and that there was a stone, Karen Tor, a standing stone, where he that's felt that friend. the Fae were yeah, imprisoned that's a six. unjustly. Well, shoot, let's go to oh, it. This I remember is the this. seven. I remember what he this said. is the eight. You remember him saying all that stuff? Yes, I he did. He said, That stick looks like it could break something, some stone. So I'm going to go stab this big old rock. He did say that the stick was somewhat similar to a thing that, yes, but. He did say that you had a good stick. Nice. And that there was a dragon's... Yeah, nice stick. Yes. The the aura of it was intense. I always remember the compliments. I don't get them much. So. All right. So now that leaves us with Amara. Amara. (gasps) Oh, Amara. He's being guarded. The preacher man's just gotten back into town. Or, yeah, back into town because it's... He's from the area, but he's from the north more so. Um, and the 16-inch man has said, tall. watch this, and started strutting off towards the standing stone. What would Amara do? Where are you going? You don't know. Uh, that's what I'm asking. Where are you going? <laughs> you, watch this. Just, just Where wait. are you going? Just give me like... 30 second head start. This is a bad idea wherever you're going. Maybe. But I need to test something. I have a theory. I have a theory. Okay. Boom. Convinced. You didn't even have to like try too hard. That's she I'm not must, going with him, but he's She might him. be hung over. Because you trust me. You trust I me. I don't man. trust you. Yes, you do. You're gonna do some crazy crap. No, you trust me. Over there. You trust me. Just admit. I'm gonna stay here and keep an eye on these two. Yeah, you do that. Okay, what next? All right, so you're standing with, with yeah. them. No, all right, no. now, you tell me what doing. Why would just I so them? everybody is fairly warned, there yeah. is a tent in the distance. Oh, The shit. wretched noises are coming from that tent. Is that where he's going? Rogoth has become quite hungover. Oh, God. He mm. may have drank an entire... Barrel of mead to himself upon receiving it as a reward on his entry to town. He might need to sleep this one off. Oh, God. So, you know, up to you. But I would probably leave him be. 
you know, sleeping this one off. Right. I actually oh. was coming to tell him I was able to book him an appointment at the massage parlor. Oh, well, he might need a good massage after this. So, um, all right. So, let's go ahead, just so that I don't get confused in trying to figure out what everybody's doing. Can everybody go ahead and take their D20? I want to get an initiative balance going. A 17. D that's good. 20. Wait, that's... Um, that's good. 17's good. That is a 23. Uh, just initiative. So it's just whatever is well, on I that straight. D20. I'm specialized in initiative. Oh. Oh, that's true. So I got a 23. Beat that. Mm. Well, we'll just say that you probably are going to be at the top of the turn there. All right. And then... Okay, I've a, rolled a 19. 3. 19? Oh, well, you'd be right after that. So I rolled a 3. R19. All right. No, and Amara... <laughs> Make first you last. Do I? Oh, I'm I rolled a three. There you are. Oh, is me. I have rolled a three. I believe John rolled a three. Yeah, I've been seeing that. <laughs> And John? Um, what did I roll? Mm -hmm. I've rolled a three. I've rolled a three. Oh, you rolled a what? A three. A three. Oh, he's way down there. Okay, so it'll be Brady at the top of the round, then Ryan, then Jessica, what do you roll? and then... 17, but I got 23. Whatever random passerby, and then John. Oh. Uh, so I'll random just write passerby. NPC here for I can interrupt anything, and then John random at the bottom. Passerby. Bottom John. All right. You, sir, are at the top of the turn, then. You have freedom. You're strutting over to this, this standing stone now. You're about 16 inches tall, you said? Mm-hmm. So this thing would be a monolith to you. Okay. Which also means gargantuan. Okay. Uh, hold on. Huge. Thank you yeah. for dumbing it down. I've dumbed it down all the way. Two tiers for oh, you. Oh, that's nice of him. All right. So huge stone. All mm -hmm. right. Now, honestly, probably about 10 feet tall. Okay. It's got etchings all over it. I can tell you that they look like etchings uh, just on the offset that you may or may not know what language they are. Yeah, I don't know a lot of languages. I just know, like, English. And you do see that there is a armed individual that is standing very close to the Standing Stone. Mm -hmm. He's dressed in the Clan Harris colors. Clan Harris. <laughs> I'm going to have to remember that name. Keep, keep track. Keep track. Okay. Um... Can I sneak? No. Is that, is that an action, sneaking, or is it a bonus action? Stealth is... Well, okay, okay. here, this is how we can resolve this. Yeah. If you roll well enough on a stealth movement, then I'll allow you to have a follow-up. Which would be a 17 through 20? Or, yes. You know, okay, I don't trust myself that much. So you know what? We're just going to smack this thing with it tip of my spear but you got to get to it now this is the oh. thing there's a soldier standing right next to it like maybe it's his job to watch it wait so maybe he's guarding it or oh. maybe he's just taking a leak you so, don't know question for you all right so what's the answer you find you out you're really short yeah so is it like in the center of a town <laughs> square type thing logistically like why is it raining <laughs> Is it just like in the center of a town? So if you refer back to the map image, it's actually on there for you. Oh, it's outside of town. I, know, I know what you're talking about. It's okay. where we came in at in the Okay, portal. so can I just go to the other side where he's not guarding? Or can I just walk around to that side? Mm -hmm. You're going to have to roll stealth to get by this trained guard. Okay, never mind. Let's just smack it. Let's see what happens. You're just going to run up and smack it. Yes. You but seem I'm so... I'm only trained. I'm only trained. Well, what's his... Level. He just needs to get a 17. All I said was if he got a 17 through a 20, Wait, he could get uh, over there and make an additional action. You can succeed action. 
without rolling a 17. Right. You, you just, can still get over what's there. What's the guard's level? Yeah, You'll just wait. What's the guard's level? He doesn't know yet. He hasn't asked that. Oh, what's his level? <laughs> oh. Oh. Do you want to perceive him? Do you have any kind of perceptions on that? Can perception? I just metagame game real quick? He looks yeah. tough. I got he perception. Looks tough. He looks about one level tougher than the guards guarding Jin. Are we supposed to remember? They're all helpless. Level five. They're friends. He's level five. He's level five. Level five. <laughs> Dang. Man, that's tough. Now nah, let's just go smack. Let's see what happens. All right. So you just straight impetuous, to impulsive, straight, straight, straight to, to the point. Mm -hmm. You just run it up. All right. So you still have to roll to see if you can okay. get there and smack it. Ten. So, but this is a melee attack roll, isn't it? To melee the man or the stone? The stone. No. And that's an object. Uh, are you using rec? Do you have yes. that as a I skill? Think, I don't know if that counts against objects. It, it specifically counts against objects. Yes. Oh. You're uh, only wrecked. objects? It specifically counts against objects. But like it says it. that if he has rec and he's yes, using it, so that's that means one. that he is automatically skilled in damaging whatever it is that he's trying to hit. So that's a minus one. So that's a nine. But... I am specialized in melee, so that's 15. All right. So the guard indeed is 15, but you're smacking the stone, correct? Mm -hmm. All right. So from where y'all are at, you're standing there, you've just talked to these guards, you're walking with him, you see Amara walking up. She smells a bit of leftover meat. Disgusting. As if there was a large party going on last night. Um... Now, as she walks over, you are like, where's that foolish little... And then you hear this... <laughs> now, modern age, I could reference a bug zapper for you. And you would be like, ah, oh, that's a bug zapper. But in this day and age, and of having more, you're probably like, what in the name of Aiden? And then you see this little body just going... Oh, no. <sighs> that was yep, yeah. Now didn't drastically fail so all you've learned from this is that the stone hates you and you were zapped did i stab it with the bone yeah you did you ran up and you tried to stab the stone with your stick and then all of a sudden like if there was an invisible barrier around it it activated and then surged with this like chaotic crimson energy that just pulsed against you and shot you back didn't hurt you though because you didn't fail that epically but you did get bounced back a good 15 feet. I see. I, I probably should have asked him what the deal was with the stone. He might have. <laughs> I probably should have, but I wasn't thinking. You didn't. That was not That was not on your radar. No. I saw, I saw something I want to hit it. Yeah. Did I do anything? Now, damage? you did hit it, and you got shot over here, 15 feet. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, Ryan, that brings us to you as you are the next in initiative. Am I aware that he just tried to hit the thing and it threw him, threw him off? I think at this point you're aware that that was Yip Yap flying through the air. Okay. Not necessarily of what he did to cause it to happen to him. And you may think to yourself, about right. I imagine him saying Yip Yap as he like flies through the air. Oh no. Yip Yap! Yeah, yeah, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> like like uh, Team Rocket? Or like Pikachu or like yeah. Inez. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's his one word. <laughs> hey, Jen, I see Amar over there. I see her too. Hey, Amar. <laughs> <laughs> Rather awkwardly. Did you just see... Did you just see Yip Yap go flying through the air? Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. He was doing something. What, what's the cause of that? I don't do know. Think? I didn't you know. Wait, did I? I he saw that. Tell me what he was doing. My perception is three, off. so I haven't seen. I haven't noticed anything happen yet. Your perception I'm, is what? I that, rolled a that three. Was the first oh, that's an initiative. Yeah. Our perception is pretty good, actually. <laughs> My perception is trained, so yeah, I notice everything. That's what that means, right? Yeah. Perhaps. He wouldn't tell me what he was some, doing. Probably something per impulsive. Perhaps some, someone could tell me what we're trying to do here. We don't know. I know what Yip Yap was okay. trying to do. He was trying to hit the rock with a stick. How did you know, you know that? that? I saw it happen. 
Oh. I perceive. <laughs> this is what I should talk to you about. What okay. happened to you? Yeah. I perceive. Well, Did you how about movie? this? Yeah. I'll just take you out of your out of your turn base roll and tell you to roll perception. Okay. And we'll see how much you remember of what was happening with Yip Yip. Right. You're rather uh, taken with these guards at the moment. No, no, they're taken with me. <laughs> Did you? Are you rolling here? I'm rolling. That's true. Oh, they're there's another one. Here. I got this so is many. Your main <laughs> All right, let's see we go. Uh, boom. Now it hit sixteen before it landed on three. <laughs> you did, you really don't bad. have any clue what's happening with Yip Yap other than the fact that I heard you're Yip-Yap? really mad at Manis for being mad at you. I rolled that old a, war chief. Then you're yeah, mad that he's mad at you. He's, I just yeah, I'm one of those people to get upset. Plus three when other people are upset with them. So I got a ten to perceive. I don't know what happened to Yip Yap. He just wandered off being a pole. So you don't know why he was zapped across the air, but you do know he was zapped across the air. Was he this was like very from odd. a cartoon where he's like flying out of our sight, or did he just kind of go from like here to here? <laughs> he went from here to here. <laughs> it was like 15, 15, feet. 15 feet. Maybe we should just go ask him. <laughs> yeah, that's totally possible. <laughs> I thought he was like flying He's like, yep, like, yeah. And, yeah. Like, <laughs> and he's gone. <laughs> Yeah, that is the way it felt like. <laughs> yip yap, my my very good best friend. Oh, for real? What happened? <laughs> what, what's happening? Well, you're my third you best your friend. Head really hard just now. <laughs> I guess I suppose you're my my like my fifth best friend Second behind Rogoff yeah. and Jen and those other people I like more and than Amara <laughs> and then uh, this guy that I just met, Conley, <laughs> Henry Cavill. Come on now. And then my good friend Liam here. So I six best friend, but man. But you know millions. But then there's all my entourage. No, so. they don't count. The point is, what happened to you? We um, saw you go flying. Uh, that rock. Mm-hmm. And I tried. It, it, it attacked me, the rock. You should have seen it. It, it. it, like, turned into something big and scary. Mm-hmm. And then it changed back. So we got we to gotta break it open. Oh. Am I familiar with... It's got crystals what on the, the inside. What the rock is? Do you smell what you the rock know, is cooking? Just um, from my travels as a well, you're circus from, performer, a traveling performer. <laughs> no, I would I would say that you're from here. Like you're from the area. You're from Mornaith. It's not a secret of Mornaith. It's like a it's a it's a rather large feature of it. Um, let me. Pull that up just for a moment. I should be able to read the inscription on it as well. That's a bit more. So, all right, hang tight. All right. You would know that this is the Standing Stone of Kerigtor, and you would know that the actually the founding member of your clan since your clan lewis <laughs> you're not in it it's just him you're not in it no it's everybody no it? it's not it's wide angle oh wait no it's not <laughs> there we go what, what i'm not in the picture though me neither this is me being offended he's covering me up with his yeah head. he's covering me too <laughs> okay all of everyone it's me. all done um <laughs> You would know that, that Kerigtor was actually, the, the stone itself is interwoven with the legend of uh, the founder of Clan Lewis, your clan. So since you're from the north, you're from Clan Lewis, you would know about him. Um, I'm trying to find. So his name was Keenan. Uh, Keenan was actually a great warrior from long ago when the land was actually known as Tyrden. And he and the stone are interwoven by the fact that he had a very special sturdy spear. It's like the sturdiest stick of all the sturdy sticks. And the best spear of all of them. Um, And he was given that spear as legend has it. Um, he was given that spear by the gods 
one one very specific flaming old god, an angry one, gave him that, Athna. And so the spear itself is called Gaiathna. And legend has it that he drove away the Fae that were in this region, the ones that caused the massacre uh, Mm-hmm. that happened actually very close to where you are. Where this standing stone is actually marks the spot of this massacre. Um, and he entrapped all of those fey within the standing stone of Kerigtor. And about 20 feet from that standing stone, there is actually a statue that resembles an Alfar, or as we would call it in our modern age, an elf but like a larger fey, pointy ears, the whole elf get up. Mm-hmm. Um, but he seems to be kneeling, weeping before the standing stone, about 20 feet away from it. And you know that it is always maintained with guards. Not necessarily to keep people from touching it, but to keep whatever's in it at bay. So like if anything was ever to come out, somebody would need to know immediately. Um, and that's what you know about the legend mm. of Kerigdor. And so your thing, ancestor, Keenan. Is the elf thing really there or is a statue of an elf thing? It is, there is a statue, a stone. The statue, the elf crying or whatever, that's a statue, right? It is made of stone. Okay. Mm-hmm. But it's not like an actual NPC. I will. You can run up and, and inspect it if you want to, but it yeah. is made of stone and it is weeping before the standing stone. I'll at least just relay it's all pretty that cool. information to Here, let me everyone. teach y'all something, you idiots. Y'all sit down crisscross applesauce. Uncle Noel's going to tell y'all a story. Okay. Um, Keenan Griffin was actually the name of the warrior. So it, it didn't end with Lewis, but he made Clan Lewis. We can get into the debacle of how that works later, but he's the ancestor of your clan. Cool. So perhaps we shouldn't try to break apart the the giant rock that may or may not contain the souls of many evil fairies. <laughs> oh, that's what it is? <laughs> <laughs> now remember, you're an evil little fairy. Well, oh. no, he's not evil. I'm very malicious. He's little. But you You're are not a malicious. Fake. You're just impulsive. You're a mischievous little thing. No, fake. I do stuff You're maliciously. Mischievous. No, you do things. Yeah, it says mischievous. Isn't that no. malicious? Malicious means <laughs> mean. It's like it's mischievous like, means just tries to play tricks on. Them. No, that's malicious with extra steps. No, that's not true. Look it up. <laughs> that's malicious <laughs> with extra steps. Mischievous and. Malicious are two different things. Mischievous. Okay. I'll let you believe what you want. Okay. Plus, I believe that's my cousin Earl guarding the rock right now. And oh, for real? Yeah. You know what? He hit me too. He hit me too. What Let's get him. What about Earl? Uh, you know, Earl's got a bit of a temper. I Does believe he? that's why he got stuck on rock duty. <laughs> but let's not get him un- in trouble. Let's I think he's only him. been on rock duty for like two weeks now. Dang. That's sad. <laughs> Um, so as you are talking to him, you do notice that right outside, because there's a rather large, um, hut. They're not quite like log cabins or anything, but they're huts or whatever. Uh, but it's the tavern that they all left from. And you do see that there's a man standing there. He's got kind of a pallor, uh, tone to him, very pale skin. Sunken eyes, crystal blue, black hair, and dark robes that resemble her robes, just black instead of being at all colorful. And he has watched what occurred to the little creature. And you see kind of like a, like, just mm. like this look of like, oh, dog. Judging me? He didn't die. Or, uh, oh my, he I didn't have a succeed. stalker. Yeah, yeah, I'm moving yeah. up in the world. He didn't die. Hey, look, Amar, it's one of your friends. Let's go introduce ourselves. Is this the one from last? Krieg. One that, well, he did talk to him for a He's while. He's the weirdo right? who wants my body. He wasn't, <laughs> you agreed to it. 
I did. But he did agree to give his I'm body victim, to him. I'm the victim here. Posthumous examination. How. Wait, is he going to try and kill him now to get the body? You can go talk to him. I don't think he's as evil as he looks. We've talked to him before. It's just a face. <laughs> <laughs> he's just going through an emo face right now. Uh, so for for you, um, Ryan, just so you're aware, I'll go ahead and bump this back. with a hot dog so that you can see what he kind of looks like the, the character's face and, and his robes and everything so he's kind of a dark druid type character but he does uh, he's got kind of like that very blank look very crystal blue eyes um, kind of a creepy calm tone to him yeah no he don't look evil at all <laughs> <laughs> This guy seems downright trustworthy. All he has done is adorn himself in the most sinister looking attire and headwear <laughs> and accessories. Now you do notice around here it's a little bit more common to wear dead animal stuff. Let's and you would remember that. Here. Yeah, it's like furs. We're not wearing their skulls on our heads. <laughs> so he's the one that's kind of snickering but like mad that that whatever happened that I didn't to, die to the little dude or that you didn't succeed oh that guy looks cool you don't can, know can I go up to him and talk to him um actually technically uh so he took time to talk to y'all Just Jessica can actually make a decision at this point I already told him to go talk to him you want so to her to turn him? is to tell you to do well he asked he said maybe we should go talk to him he's the talker and he hasn't talked to him yet. That's true. Like We've already talked to him. him. He's not. It doesn't seem that bad. He's he just, just wants to. He's in a face. He's in a face. Is there he's like a, a reason that I why I would need to talk to him? I don't remember. Just Other get a feel for him. Yeah. See if he's lying. Yeah. About I don't anything. remember. We're not very helpful this time. We just. Hey, entourage. Very helpful. The Speak young man own. dressed in the all black over here has yet to uh, be sold a copy of my book. Let's go over and uh, take care of that I right think now. Rogan's try to sell some. Coffee. I think you're right, Jostine. <laughs> Let's go. Come on, gang. Let's go, girls. Hee <laughs> hee. Nineteen ninety-five. Oh my god. That's Blossom. I imagine they're all dragging behind them, just like these huge trunks. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like rutting the ground as they drag it from place to place. All right, so you've come over to talk to him. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but you're the one that goes by the name Jostein. Wrong. <laughs> some people call me Jostein, some people call me Noel. See, Noel. But everyone calls you a <laughs> friend, a great preacher, in the word of Aiden. Well, I wouldn't say everyone, but, uh, you know, probably like 99% of people. That's a very big, that's a large number. I am not quite so successful with attaining followers. Well, are you preaching the word of Aiden? I, I am preaching words, uh, many different words, really. Uh, all the old gods exist. And in my opinion, there are also the dark arts that were forgotten about. One cannot have balance without light and darkness. For every Aiden there is an Athna. Well, that's true, but we just kick Athna's butt, and let me tell you. I think she became our ally, actually. Didn't she? Yeah. She gave us well, a blessing we, or something. Well, she I did after sword, we kicked so her butt. Kind of <laughs> you, you freed her from a, a stone. I thought we were trying to kill her, but we helped her. You did. You freed her from a stone shell. And she fell in love she with She was covered me. in like this stone and it looked like she was a statue, but then you broke the stone oh, like away. The I thought dude, it was like, I thought like, it was like the a dude phase. in front of the rock that's praying. I bet he's not really a statue either. Let's not try to attack him. Yeah, I got that, I got that same vibe from him. Yeah. Like really mad at us. <laughs> 
That statue took me ten fortnights to make. <laughs> it just knocked its head off. What are ten fortnights? That's two weeks. Yeah, uh, a fortnight, fortnight is, is two weeks. That's twenty weeks. Five months. Twenty weeks. All right, that's five months. That's a good half of a year. It's just etching away, chisel. Well, this is gonna be the coolest looking statue. Everybody's gonna love like, it. They're not like, gonna think anything we malicious there was about an it. Evil thing inside of it. <laughs> but yes, no, Athena, uh, you kicked her butt. <clears throat> yeah, we we met her in some temple. She gave us superpowers for a minute. It was pretty awesome. Uh, well, yes, that's what I'm talking about. If you revere the one of great anger, then she can also grant you ability, power, favor. Well, she only gave them to us because we saved her using the mighty power of Aiden. A a with balance. And Aiden made, Aiden made those powers possible. You will never convince me that Athna actually gave us those powers. It was, I, all, it was all the work of Aiden. Well, there is there is no convincing those who won't be convinced. That's Aiden! His tattoos true. like glimmer every time he says Aiden. <laughs> 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 and he smiles and it glistens off his teeth. Um, however, I, I can say that for those like our odd little friend here, Misbegotten by everyone's eyes. Easy to see. Deformed. What? Truly horrendous. No. -uh. The sound of his voice just cringeworthy. Hey, oh that my. is my fifteenth or sixteenth best friend <laughs> out there, and I don't like the way you're talking yeah, about him. Yeah, watch your mouth. Uh, I apologize. I was merely pointing out factual statements. However. In his own kind, among his own people, he would maybe possibly be great. Well, duh. Exactly. <laughs> like he said. And that's why I sent him over to the stone. The stone of Kerigtul. Because I believe that even people as depraved and downright unfavored by the gods as he they still deserve freedom and there are many like him trapped in that stone oh, they're trapped in there as a druva i have been fighting against this barbaric treatment since i came to Mordenaeth. but it's a tradition they've kept even since the days that they were once known as tirdin long before the fey wars ended so we should try opening, is what you're telling me. I really don't think we should do that. Well, my friend, let me tell you something I learned a long time ago. When a man dressed in all black, talking all sinistery, tells you to release a bunch of commonly known to be evil fairies <laughs> from a giant stone. Well, I'm just trying to... You don't just go over and do it. Well, I'm just trying to... Now. Maybe he has a point. <laughs> Out of character, though. GM Intrusion, I will remind intrusion. you that the quest that you were set upon by Illidrith when you were in the land of Nymoria, she asked you to go free her brother, Alfar oh, yeah. Oh. And you were like, this is a good idea. I want to remind you of that with this here XP. You can't buy him off either. Because well. you don't have another XP. <laughs> you got to take it. You got to <laughs> help it. We got to try to help him, man. Yeah, you gotta help what me. What does that even mean? We have to do. I tell you, since you are a fellow Druva, at least you look like you've been trained to be one. Oh, that was some shame. Get on with it. Oh, well, I was letting your friend make jest of you first. If you can succeed in this, I will give you much reward. And a blessing of my own. How much reward? At least, if I were to speak in alien terms, three XP. <laughs> Get it. 
If we're doing what now? Releasing the stone? To free the, the, the four been, souls on, in the on. stone. You've been living next to this stone your whole life. No, not my whole life. I came here to replace our Druva Desmond when and he died. And we come along and you're just like, oh, strangers, let's let them open the rock. Well, to be fair, the reason why I haven't done so myself, beyond socio-political norms and my expectations of behavior, he can't get I past Earl. don't have the spear. What spear? Guy Athna. The great spear of the warrior Keenan Griffin. Okay. I'll it is said that. that that spear is the key to this stone. That spear, however, is said to be located towards the north in Clan Lewis territory. That's what I'm talking about. And we, we just all know how barbaric Clan Lewis can be. So we gotta go to Clan Lewis and get this spear. If you are to free these poor souls. The greatest among them, the hero, Rithi. But you already said they were bad. I said Who nothing. said they were bad? He did. It's common oh, lore. Oh, you perceived it. Okay. He said common lore is that they're evil. But common lore also when you met that one really uh, not so intelligent guy. Uh, he, the, the one when you first got into town, he told you that Clan Lewis was the worst thing ever. Oh, yeah, the one you were yapping at. And you decided That's to go with that information. The first guy and you Oh. The peasant. You literally took the word of the first person you Dugan. spoke to. Dugan. That was his name. Dugan. Dugan. <laughs> yeah. Literally took the word of the first person you spoke to as the biblical truth, and it got you in trouble. Oh, well. Just as a balancing, I'm just reminding you. This feels like manipulation. I'm in. <laughs> Good. Let's open it. Perhaps I could convince him to give Amara the blessing before we leave. Yeah. Give um, us rewards first. No, you can't have rewards before Why? the completion of the quest. <laughs> You're smooth, not that smooth. Sorry, hey, Bob. My skill in persuasion says otherwise. <laughs> but yeah, I you, understand this is the beginning of the game, and my name is Link. But can I go ahead and have the master sword? Sure. But <laughs> if you want us, this is like New Game Plus. If you want us to successfully uh, succeed in this quest, why not give us all the tools to do so? Here's the question: saying. Does this guy? He won't give us the blessing or the thing. Can right, you don't get the rewards of a POI before you beat them, no. But can he help us out with maybe like a Athna sigil on our weapons? Pray for us. Yeah. Give us something. I don't have a weapon, but like some people do. Yeah, I have multiple. I don't know if he's a rune sigil caster man. He's not. He knows the dark arts, though. Ooh. So he if you, you if you happen yeah, to you. like <laughs> die, he could posthumously inspect your body and find out why you died. He can't give us anything. He's already agreed. To That's that. just medical practice. He's a frog. He's it's kind of like kinda medieval funny. medical practice, and they would oh. call it the dark arts. Yes. That's lame. All right, we're gonna go. Where <laughs> I is thought he was like some mystical dude, but. He's Where just like a doctor. Yeah. Oh, he's yeah. a chemo doctor. He's like a he's witch like doctor. He's a combination between a doctor and a guy who works at a morgue. So just a, with the skull on his head. Are the, are the three guards here for this whole yeah, conversation? Uh, yeah, they're here. They're with you. They're with you and your, your followers. Are, are, they, they, are they still pointing their spears at I think oh, yeah. that they would not um, want us to... Go well, I, I, did it. The... I think the stone had no reaction from him. Oh, well. Well, no, they didn't. Like, none of They weren't with you. No one saw it. Well, okay, Earl well, did. We, send, we just need to send him What's away. What's Earl even doing with his life? He was right there. <laughs> we send, we send <laughs> this dude. I forget his name. Earl. Yes. What are you talking about? The guy. <laughs> oh, Jen. Not Jen. Earl. We send Jen to go distract. Your he's really your good cousin. at distracting Earl. Yeah, he'll, he'll talk to the dude guarding the stone. I just have to let and now they're in a big old circle. What's his name? And I go. I don't think it started as Earl, but it's going to be well, Earl. We have now, to have the so 
We have to have the staff. We gotta get the staff from Clan Lewis first. Oh, well, I'll go snatch it. <laughs> oh, I can snatch it. They're kind of far away. So, Let's who's go. got him at gunpoint or at spear point? Yeah, they are all. Who? Uh, the three armed right, guards. Right, but who, what clan are they? Clan Harris. Tell them you're going to go mess up Clan Lewis. I'm going to go mess up <laughs> Clan Lewis. Oh right now. I just had this thought right now. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. I think you just had that thought last night during the middle of the truce meeting. I just had it again. <laughs> it's a bad thought. That's why we're here keeping you at spear point. Oh, I'm going to mess him up. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Wait, hold up, hold up. Can Wait, I just talk to the, the guards? The is here, but the spear is not here. Remember that guy that you were having drinks with right, and it, may or may not have... He has the spear? Spent some time with him after the end of the game. I did not. I will clarify. I said may or may not. I have. did not. Okay. I may not have. Yeah. Listen, is but the spear here? He was Clan Harris. Or is it far away? Or Lewis. Like, is it up in their territory or is it here? Like, it's, didn't you say it's north and... In... According to Cree, it's to the north. I'm, I'm going, going okay. north and I'm going to mess them up. <laughs> I would like to travel. Now, the, the since you location. do know that somebody from Clan Lewis is here, you could go... Speak to him yeah. if you want to. Yeah, and they mess well, him up. Yeah. They don't like you. But oh, I'm to gonna them. mess him up if they don't like me. And he was nice and bought me a bed. His name and is also Go felt like Darren. he was about to spend extra time with her. They're I feel gonna find like out. Go ask for Darren. That's his name. I, I feel like okay. I need to convince yeah, the three know. guards to go along with what we're doing. Because well, we're plot. I mean, it seems like if we're plotting against. Come on, guards, let's go. <laughs> like if you're openly speaking and plotting, <laughs> I'm on your side. It probably would be smart to convince them that what you're doing is a good idea. It's so, the best idea I've had I'm gonna this morning. I'm going to try to do that. Let's do it. And then you know, I'm up for whatever. And then we mess them up. Fair enough. All right, so you're going to roll your great deception. And yes. these guards, Hold on, guards you're about to be deceived. level four, which is a twelve. So I have to roll over a six again, right? Yes, that was all you had. Did I miss? Did I miss? I feel like I've got other. I've got fast talk. Well, you've already stacked one skill into it. I don't. I can't just put all yeah, of them in like there. Like stacking all the skills would just like completely remove it. Now you could buy into it a little bit, like by using your intelligence points. I'll bring it down to. Of three. Don't say it. Do I have to spend all three of those? Yeah. Yes. Because you're using your three edge to activate the ability. All right. One. Now you do have an XP point. I just got this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. You can Use keep it. Use a different it. dice. Use a different dice. My, friend, my friends, Aiden has uh, blessed us with this Bright yellow shiny mission. <laughs> this circular golden This circular disc. golden quest. Like the sun. Eleven. Ah, that's way better than a three. A one. So do a I get one. anything for rolling? Well three a one? was his benchmark. So basically you're telling them, look, we've gotta do this. It's a good idea. Believe me. And they're like, you know, I've always thought to myself, why is the stone just standing here all the time? And this this poor creature just looks like it's crying about it. It's one of the most heartbreaking art representations I've ever seen. Like, right? It's just cruel. Question everything. Don't I, trust the man. You know what? That's what I'm doing now. I've actually read a little bit of your book. Well, I didn't read it, but this lass here that's always talking uh, to me about the book, she started reading parables out of it. And well, that was one of the things that you said in the book. Aiden says, question everything. Like it's, the fire, question the hot dog. Question the hot dog. Right. For, for Without the hot dog, you wouldn't get hot dog water. This is true, and vice versa. Mind is blown. Uh, then, yeah, I think, Liam, you in? Oi. Yeah, and don't even talk to Colin. Yeah, he's with us no matter what. So, 
Good Fine. man. You're a good man, Common. Oh. Uh, says Common. <laughs> then we're with you. Ally is your ally. All right, guys. Now we're good to go. <laughs> now we can start talking about deception. <laughs> All right. So, Amara, you said that you did remember where Darren Lewis was. I mean, it's so. a pretty small village, yeah. He like... And he seemed to be interested in you. He bought you drinks. Did you want to try and go talk to him about the location of this item? Yeah, we can go talk to him. All right. So, as you re-enter for the sake of Ryan, or uh, rather, Noel. Oh, yeah, he looks like somebody from the... I have pinned his appearance for you. Who was he again? Oh, yeah, Andor. Hot dog. No, not Andor. What's no. his name? Other dude. Oscar. Oscar Isaac. Right. Yeah. Oh, what did he do? Moon Knight, Apocalypse. He was Oscar in Star Isaac. Wars? Yeah, he was, uh, he was Poe Dameron. Poe. Poe. Yeah. He was also the inventor in that Ex Machina movie. Uh, tons of stuff. Very oh, oh, he guy. was uh, Apocalypse. He was also in the New Dune. He was Ivan Ooze in the oh, yeah, X Men movie. Yeah. <laughs> Duke. Uh, what's his name in Dune? Yeah. Well, now he is the chieftain now, of Yeah, he's Clint the war Lewis. chieftain, Dan and Lewis. And he sees you coming, and he says, Ah, I almost forgot your name, but never your face. Beautiful face. What can I do for you? Have you come back to talk to me again? Um, I didn't come here to talk. Hey, just because we're on board doesn't mean we're not holding spears to you. Okay. <laughs> Um, we... Nudge, nudge. <laughs> poke, poke. I don't feel like I can really... <laughs> like, I don't feel like anything persuasive at all. Uh, I love it when you thrust your So you're trying to persuade him of something? No. We want... Well, we heard about a spear. What? <laughs> I have heard of many oh. spears. I've seen people all around town with spears. It's like the spear. The spear the that's like famous The spear for being... that's famous. Nudge, nudge. Nudge. Right. The spear. Not to be clear. The oh, spear. the spear. Oh, yes, yes. It is quite famous. Not that Why one. Are you to talk <laughs> no, about? not that one. <laughs> oh, no, not yes. the big spear. Yes. No, the metal one. That yeah. one. It's probably the not metal. metal spear. Probably mm. wooden. Don't say wood, though. <laughs> no, nothing to do with wood. <laughs> nothing to do with wood. <laughs> Can I use my terrifying presence to intimidate him with my spear? He's the leader of the clan. He might be pretty high level. I don't remember that. I don't think we tried to roll against him for anything, did we? You did not. Yeah. What's his level? <sighs> Let me go for my guess. I didn't expect somebody to walk in and be like, let's just. Mess this dude. He's not going to mess him up. I'm going to get a little sick. I'm going to mess you up. <laughs> this is why we can't have <laughs> get him. Get him. Anyway. Lewis, get him. This is why we can't have nice things. It's all your fault, Jen. <laughs> all right. So, <laughs> it only works if he's a level three or lower. I deleted the. It'll work. But if he's over a level I three, it'll work. <laughs> I'm going to oh, be pretty okay, sure yeah. just Magic without looking. Sure. He's over level. Yeah, the I guard was level five. Just the other ones are like five and four. Yeah. But I wanted I wanted to check oh, real God. quick just to be I sure for you. <laughs> oh, I can still to terrorize a level right. five I'm target. Delete a lot of stuff. I can apply two levels of effort. Ooh. Uh, it didn't work. Interesting. <laughs> That's useful. I still leave my face. No. can find it real quick. It's just right here in the Creature Codex. It's not, not just have to scroll through real quick. I've seen better. That doesn't make any sense. Yes, it does. Of all the ones I've ever said, that would make what? sense. Let's see. All right. So for the War Chieftains, 
uh, just as far as like benchmark to attack them, you're looking at them at being a level seven. Dang. Let's get them. Let's attack Totaled them. Totaled out, seven times three is 21. But is that the same to persuade him? We don't, we don't want yes, to attack Yes, that's his difficulty him. class. Right, we're not trying to attack him, right? No, but that's for everything. He's a level seven, so his difficulty class... I mean, like as, like you stated, these are the clan's mm -hmm. top selected. So as but the he war likes me. Wouldn't that make it easier? They're the best around. Wait, what? Wouldn't that make it easier? He likes me. You want to grant like an asset to yourself? Yeah, let me flash him real fast while he talks to him. And then he'll be too distracted <laughs> to pay attention. Now, for real though, I have enable others, no, which means that I can give you a free helping action. Does that work? Can I use a helping action as well? You can use your influence as far as like he likes you to to do like a helping action for him. Yeah. Well, I can do the free helping action regardless. Just I mean, narratively, two? it would just like help. Oh. Yeah. Do I have one of them? No. Wait. She does though. So I can't say, you got this. You can cheer him on. You can do that. Yeah. Oh, cheer him on. you got this. Get him. Is it going to help him, though? She gives you him? an asset, though. He All right. doesn't? No. There's no helping thing? You actually have an out-of-turn ability to grant someone a helping action. But if he wants mm. to use his turn, can't he help? No, I don't yes. think there's helping okay. in this game. How, How does, does that work? Like, let me break this down. Like, he The answer is no, is what he's saying. I think we're all used to helping. Is that simple? I, I'm we trying always to think. help each other. You're magical in some way, right? This one is, yeah. And you're granting this magical boost to his abilities. Right. Now, then there's Yip Yap. Well, the power of friendship is pretty right. magical. Right, he's his best friend He's his like 20 to 23rd best friend no. ever. No, he, he might 16. be his first best friend. Did you ever think about that? Yeah. That it, well, you are not, his first I, best friend. I, yes. <laughs> no. He's like my second. Right after Griff Graff. Or whatever is Riff Raff. That was his name. You cut off his leg and he's your best friend. Oh my gosh, Riff Raff. I forgot about him. He's, he's not right with that. And then I'm that one princess, friend. remember that one princess that got devoured by a dragon? Yeah. Oh my god. She, she's old news. Too soon. She's Too old soon. news. Too soon. Old news. Whatever. Old news. All right. The point is, how could you help him to Me defense this? Mechanically, you can assist him. But this is head cannon. Head well, cannon? He's at a what? A 23? 21. 21, 21 is his benchmark. So, so she this brings you, it down to 18. This brings it down to 18. All right. Then I can bring it down to 12 mm -hmm. with my what, mm. persuasion, you know, whatever, whichever one I want to use. Because um, you're, you're specialized in it. So that brings it down a total of two tiers. So yeah, you're down to 12. Yeah. And then I think I can still spend with my edge and my effort, bring it down. Mm -hmm. Well, what are you using? Like, what are you using to help you... What, I guess, what are you doing here? You're trying to persuade him to tell you where this spear is? Yeah. You're trying to... Um... Are you just appealing to... Like, what, what are you using? As a skill? Well, as a skill, you're using just persuasion, right? Yeah. Which you're, you're skilled in. So that brings it down six. But I guess what I'm starting to say is... I wonder like, if any of my, like, if Perks of Stardom or if any of those... Everybody is supposed to know who you are. He, everybody is yeah. And this is his clan that he's talking to. Yeah. yeah. Like, Rogoth remembered Darren Lewis well. He liked him. Let me uh, just appeal to him without trying to manipulate him in some way. Why don't we try mm. that for a change? But you can, you can roll it and just see. I mean, if you succeed, then you're just like... Tell him what to do. But if he... I'm just thinking, like... He may just blab. Yeah. Or he may be like, Oh, Ruffian's trying to steal this magical thing. These are all possibilities. And you never know until you roll the dice which <laughs> one it is. I will just roll the dice. What have I got him down <laughs> to? A 12? Like yeah, you got him down to a 12. What do He's I need to spend? Never seen Dr. Horrible. Um, I mean, you can use your edge, and then after your edge, you can use two more to take it down to like a six. So I can bring it down to, yeah, we'll do that. 
what's the awesome. context? If you watch the movie, 16. You will find awesome. Out. So you basically walk over and you say, oh, look, the there's, there's this reason oh. I really need to know about the, oh. the guy at the sphere. Oh, I haven't heard the name of that cursed weapon in a long, long time. As a matter of fact, and I'll tell you this because you're a fellow Lewis man. Me too. You are insane. You skeletal creature. Thank you. Creature. But as a fellow Lewis man, say, you're not, you're running around with Rogoth, aren't you? Rogoth is definitely my number two He's best friend. He's one of my <laughs> best friends, too. I'm here well, with you, right? He's only, he's only behind Aiden in the best friends list. Then you would remember. He is Aiden. We are all Aiden. You would remember that our own clan queen, Elise, her predecessor. I remember Elise Chief well. Donald. <laughs> He went to the Skarhall Woods in search of Gaiathna. He never returned. And that was the last we were allowed to speak of it. Good because story. When, I know. But when Clan Queen Elise took over, she said that no more lives were to be lost well, in more. search of such foolishness. What but was? the Skarhall Woods... Why did it, what made them think it was in there? Well. I have a plan. Not, well, I have formulated a plan. We are going to burn the woods down. And the only thing that will be left will be the mighty spear. Yes? <laughs> in other words, since you're not from here, I'll give you a quick history lesson. The Clan Lewis once owned the entire North. Until this great winter came. It killed all of our crops, all of our animals. Our pastures were left completely white and desolate in frost. And there in the North, we steadily started to see clansmen, our own family, our blood, our brothers, our sisters, returning from the north and their quest to find food changed, detorted, morphed, and mutated in strange, demonic ways. Yeah, we've seen some of those. So, Lewis was forced with only one option. Chief Donald led us to the south in hopes that we could find more fertile land and assistance. But that's where we met Clan Harris, who had quite a problem with us being in their territory. There were great wars, and time passed, and eventually Clan Sky, the ruling clan of all the land, put a truce to us. But, at our backs, were the cursed woods, Skaha, the Shadow Woods. And in there still walked demonic entities, that I'm not ashamed to admit that Manus and I love to go in there every once in a while with a, clan, a little group of the skiing hunters and uh, kill us a good shadow walker or two. But to stay in there for very long is inviting death or insanity upon yourself. I used to live in those woods. <laughs> that explains so much. That explains so much about you. <laughs> But uh, we gotta go to the insanity woods and so burn them down. I think Please. if I was willing to talk to Manus for a minute, he would have no problem at all if we uh, came with burn. you and oh. uh, went on a nice little hunting party into the Skaha Woods. But first, we need to stop by Clan Lewis territory so that we can get you some good hunter's gear. Can't, but you know he's going to come too, right? And burn it friend. down. We're oh. not burning anything, oh, okay. but he's going to come with us. He's our friend. We've tried to burn those woods before. Yeah, but you did not have the fire of Aiden. <laughs> this whole land has the fire of Aiden. I am the fire of Aiden. Or, listen, if they let you go, will you not, <laughs> will you not try to burn anything? I had a dream last night. That everyone burned. <laughs> that everything burned. <laughs> And I was at the center I'm of it. I'm trying to help you. 
Uh. Hey, Jen, I have a very serious question to ask you that I've been thinking about for a long time. <laughs> when you fart... I do not fart! Is it just like a... Is it like a... You know, like a poof of fire? I do not have intestines. <laughs> no, nor do I intake any kind of gaseous food. I am a skeleton. <laughs> you are gaseous. Though. It's methane. Oh, I don't God. know. It's like solar flares. It is. If there was somehow methane inside me, it would combust with the fire of Aiden. <laughs> Perhaps that is what. Maybe that's what Aiden is. Just a bunch of methane gas combusting continuously. Maybe Gene is just a lit fart. <laughs> the fart of Aiden. All right. I'm willing to spend money to make y'all. Yeah, let's move. Okay. Oh, move fast. The fart. No, give us <laughs> No, it's all right. He can keep talking about it if he wants to. I'll want watch to. you go inside. All right, let's go. Clan Lewis to the north. Let's go. All right, so within oh, wait, this is Lewis? a very short span of time. I thought we didn't like Lewis. They don't like you. They don't like me. <laughs> they you, literally you had you at spear point this whole time. Well, no, the Harris people are holding him at spear point wait, in the favor of Lewis. Wait a second. Because Wasn't he, I supposed he, to go give it to you or something? She's going to talk to War Chieftain Darren Lewis. Oh, I'm And confused. he's going to go talk to his <laughs> good buddy, Manus Harris. And the both of them are going to go with you to talk to the hunters of the north. Okay, both clan chiefs tens are coming with us. Just tell me who you want me to burn. Nobody. <laughs> we don't want you to burn anybody right well, now. Well, that's not what I have. So we have like a, a pretty big group of people with us right now. You yeah. have three soldiers. We've got a lot of NPCs. You've got all of your book sales ladies. You've got two war chieftains. In your group, and then in a trolley being drugged by a donkey is Rogoff, still moaning in sickness from the alcohol he consumed. <laughs> Aiden, save me. All right, well, here we go. This is a good day to die. Let's go to wherever we're going. All right, so they begin their journey to the north. And if you want to find out what crazy hijinks happen to them when they get there, then you're going to have to tune in next time at the same Saturday Night Gaming time on the same Saturday Night Gaming channel. This has been Tony reminding you to not forget. Click, like, share, and subscribe. And a big shout out to the buildings. This has been Yip Yap Show. <laughs> Praise Aiden. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Starfall. If you did, be sure to head on over to our website at www.saturdaynightgamingllc.com and check out some of our other cool games. Also, make sure to like, share, and subscribe on all of our social media platforms. I hope you have a fantastic week, and until next time, this is Laura Hibbard with Saturday Night Gaming signing off.